here to be an all-time great. You're now rocking with the best. Bird and yellow, bird and yellow, bird and yellow, bird and yellow. The Lakers repeat back-to-back title. Welcome to the Big Baby Jonathan Sports Podcast. Oh, he's smoking hot. The latest Laker news. Another great Showtime feed. The greatest Laker show. This is going to be legendary for a long time. This is is the Big Baby Jonathan Sports Podcast. Lakers all day. Go Lakers! What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Big Baby here, man. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Welcome to Big Baby Sports, man. Today's episode, we're going to talk about the Lakers offseason, who are they going to target in free agency? Do they bring back D'Lo? Do they sign and trade him to Indiana? Because those are the reports out there that um, Lakers and Pacers are talking about a trade that will send D'Lo, the 17th pick, Mo Bamba, and Mikel Beasley for Miles Turner and Bradley um, Buddy Hill. Um, so much more. Do we keep the young assets and or do we fluctuate our roster to go get Kyrie Irving? We'll talk about that so much more. Make sure you guys hit the like button. And uh, what's going on? Crenshaw, what's going on? Appreciate you. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel, man. We're a couple more. Uh, we're at 792 subscribers away. Or we're, set, we're at 792. We're almost 800. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel, man. My thoughts about this whole offseason, man. I uh, just want to say give a shout out to the Denver Nuggets. I'm winning the NBA championship, man. Shout out to you guys. Shout out to KCP for getting his ring. Shout out to you guys for getting your championship, man. Um, but, it, you know, Lakers beat, got beat. And I said that in my podcast four weeks ago. If whoever wins this series, Lakers and Nuggets, win the championship. And that's what happened. Um, yes, I think we can win it all next year because we were so close against Denver. There were so many opportunities for us to win against Denver. We just didn't execute well down the stretch. Now we know how to get there. I feel like a couple pieces in this draft and the free agency will be all right. You know what I mean? And let me see. Who should the Lakers target in free agency? I feel like we should re-sign Rui Hachimura, Austin Reeves. Austin Reeves is very talented, love his game. We need to re-sign him. We need to bring back the half the core back. You know, our, the reason I feel like we lost to Denver is because our shooting wasn't really good as far as Beasley. A couple other guys didn't shoot the ball well down the stretch in that fourth quarter against Denver when we got swept. So I feel like the Lakers get some pieces in the offseason, which – I think Lakers are going to do well because of Rob Palinka. Shout out to Rob Palinka in the front office. I've been quiet. And I know there's links about Buddy Heal, Miles Turner, a couple other players, Rose O'Neal, Chris Tasper Singles, but he just got traded to Boston in a three team deal. Um, Clippers get Mikel Brogdon. Washington Wizards get um, one of the Morris brothers and Jack Compensation. But that's the thing Washington went to rebuild. You know what I mean? Washington went to rebuild. They got rid of Bradley Beal to the Phoenix Suns for a bag of for a bag of ninety nine cents chips and a water. That's how bad the trade was for the Washington Wizards. You could have got more for Bradley Beal, but Bradley Beal wanted to go to Phoenix. You know what I mean? You could have got more value for Bradley Beal, but he had an open trade clause, so he picked where he wanted to go. And that's the thing I want to get into. How come certain players and organizations, when a player says I want to go there, they grant it, but if somebody says oh, I'm gonna go to the Lakers. They say, I'm not trading you there. I don't, I don't understand it. But uh, I feel like Washington could have got more for Bradley Bill. I feel like Washington could have got some good assets back. But they got Chris Paul and Landry Shamit. Huh. That's that's not a good deal for Brad, a caliber player like Bradley Bill. You need to get more value. You need to get like a, you know. Shout out to my boy Gabriel and the Sacramento Kings, man. Hey, your Kings are very talented, bro. And they're a team that people need to watch out for. And, uh. They're a team that uh, might trade for uh, Pascal Siakam or OG Ananobi from the Raptors. They were one of the teams that were trying to get um, Bradley Bill, but they wanted one of y'all rookies. You know, so Kings said, nope, he went to Phoenix. So it is what it is. But as far as my Lakers, man, we have the 17th pick in this draft. I personally feel like we're going to trade it along with another pick for a small forward. And I feel like we need to go get put our hand. We need to go get our hands on the Zach Levine or DeMar DeRozan because with this young group that we have, 
with AD, LeBron, Rui Hachimura coming back, Austin Reeves coming back. So I want to see this team come back, a couple pieces, and the Falcon Lakers do everything in power to get a good wing defender. DeMar DeRozan will be perfect, but we'll see what happens. You know, like my boy JT says, it's, all this is just talk until something happens. I personally feel like Lakers are going to trade that 17th pick. And Beasley and Mo Bamba, probably most likely, in my personal opinion, for Buddy Hill, Miles Turner. Makes sense. Miles Turner is good. Back to the basket, center, block shots, run the floor. He could put AD back at the power forward position, and Buddy Hill can go come off the bench or start. However this roster plays out, be good for us. Buddy Hill is a great three-point shooter. He, he was supposed to come to the Lakers for Kyle Kuzma back in the day. And at the deadline, he's supposed to come to Lakers. So I feel like the Lakers are trying to get him because I think uh, Rob Plinko was his former agent. So it makes sense. You know what I mean? It also makes sense for Lakers to also bring back D'Lo if we don't trade D'Lo. It also makes sense for us to bring back D'Lo, probably shooter. I want to see us bring back. I feel like because Lakers are linked to Chris Paul, Trey Young, Dame Lillard, and Kyrie Irving. That's letting me know the Lakers are interested in getting a point guard. It makes sense. But for a caliber player like Chris Paul, we're talking about his age. You can play him by 15, 20 minutes. Him, his uh, IQ is really good, and you know how AD plays with high basketball IQ point guards. You see what he did with Rondo. You know what I mean? You see what he's done with uh, LeBron, too. He plays really well with high-caliber players, you know? So I expect Lakers to go after a point guard in the draft or trade or free agency, maybe bring back shooter. Um, I don't expect, like I I want to keep the 17th pick, but Lakers are in win now mode. They have they were four wins away from the NBA Finals appearance, so Lakers are like, okay. Should we draft for players that contribute in 20, 24, 25, 26 season, or trade the pick and get some assets and start you know start to go for a championship now? So I feel like Lakers are gonna do that. I feel like Lakers are gonna do something. You know, there's been rumors about. Certain players come to LA, but also we haven't heard anything for Rob Plinka. You know, Rob Plinka is going to do something. I feel it. Hey, shout out to Eric Q, man. What's going on? They could let Bradley Bill walk instead of getting them super max and no trade clause. Yeah, you know that they should have let him do that, but it is what it is. You know, it's unfortunate. But now Phoenix has a big three, but uh, they did they did get Frank Vogel. You know, I feel like they're going to be a competitive team. We'll see what happens. But in my personal opinion. The Western Conference is going to be stacked. You got Denver going to be obviously the favorite to go back to the finals. That's how every championship team is that win it. And you also you got the Lakers. You got the Warriors. You got Sacramento. You got the Clippers. You know, there was Kawhi Leonard, Paul George. Now they just got Mockton Brogdon. You know what I mean? So they're going to be at the middle of the pack. But we'll see what happens there on that front. We'll see what happens towards for agency starting July 1st. But the drafts tomorrow, so you're gonna start to see deals coming out of nowhere that haven't been talked about. I don't even know about Porzingis to the to uh, to the Celtics at all. Nobody was talking about. It. See, boom, trades happen. We don't at least expect. You know what I mean? So I expect the Lakers to do some type of deal that nobody's talked about, just like the D'Lo trade, just like the Rumor trade. So I expect Lakers to be in negotiations that we don't know about. You know what I mean? So it's it's unfor it's it's crazy, man, and um. I saw a report out there that Le- LeBron is frustrated with AD. <laughs> yeah, take it with a grain of salt. You know, take it with a grain of salt, man. Um, because if AD, if LeBron's really frustrated with AD, AD would have been traded already. Because LeBron, Le- LeBron James, if he's frustrated with somebody, you know how he's frustrated with Westbrook? Westbrook was gone. Frustrated with Kyrie, he was gone. You know what I mean? Fresh shit with Dwayne Wade when he was in Cleveland, he was gone. So if eighty, if LeBron eighty, if LeBron was fresh shit with eighty, eighty would be gone. But I don't expect the Lakers to trade LeBron or AD. I don't expect the Lakers to even listen to the phone calls for AD. I feel like we're gonna run it back and we're just gonna tweak the offense and we're gonna tweak the the team and the offense too and the defensive schemes this season and we're gonna try to run it back. But I feel like the Lakers are not going to get Kyrie Irving. Because he stated that he didn't want to come here. You know, he was trying to recruit LeBron to Dallas. I don't think LeBron's going to Dallas. I feel like he's going to stay here. I know when we got swept by Dallas, he was talking about retirement and all this stuff. I feel like he was doing that off of emotion. He was exhausted. Um, it, that series was crucial, grind out. But I feel like we can learn from that series. 
to improve on what we can accomplish for next year to improve on that situation and beat the Denver Nuggets. Because Denver Nuggets, they won a championship, but they're acting like they haven't been there before. Talking about, you know, people saying Denver was the Lakers' daddy and all this stuff and people talking, talking that mess, but it is what it is. Let them enjoy it. Let all these Laker, Laker people that were DMing me saying, oh, Lakers lost, ha, making fun of us. You all enjoyed it because I want everybody to have that same energy, man, when we come back to the West Conference Finals next year and get to the Finals and win. I have confidence in my team to get this done next season. You know, Rui Hachimura is going to be improved. Austin Reed is going to be improved. Anthony Davis is going to be improved. LeBron, everybody's going to be hungry, and we're going to have this new team. You know, we're going to have some pieces. We're going to get some good players on this team. And I feel like the Lakers are going to trade that 17th pick. But if not, I want Jarrett Howard from Michigan. You know, he's um, Jawan Howard's son. Very good athletic point guard slash shooting guard. Combo guard. I like his game. He can shoot the mid-range really well. But we'll see what happens. You know what I mean? So we'll see what happens on that front. Um, he could pass the ball really well. But I feel like Lakers are not going to get anybody in the same thing. We're going to trade it. But also, too, um, there's rumors that Lakers are not going to trade Max Christie. I understand that. I get it. He's a very good up-and-coming prospect. So I expect Lakers to keep him. Probably He'll probably get some playing time this season because he really played tremendously when LeBron was out, when Westbrook was out at one point when he was on our team. Even when AD was out, he shined. You know? So he's very talented at his game. I like his game. So I feel like if you put him in there with LeBron and AD at times, it could work out. But I feel like the Lakers... Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Um, I feel like Lakers are gonna Lakers are gonna do something, like I said earlier in the show, are gonna trade for somebody that nobody heard us talking about. That always happens. And if we somehow pull it off for Zach Levine and DeMar Rosen, I'm okay with that. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's official. Yeah. So Celtics are working on a trade to acquire Wizards power for Chris Stats for Ringus. So the trade just happened. Right now, so Wizards get Marcus Morris, Anthony Coffey, and the 30th pick to Washington. Okay, so it's look like it's going to be a done deal. So Malk the Brogdon to the Clippers. Malk, that's crazy. So it's a sign and trade. That's crazy. Like, a lot of Clipper fans are excited for Malk the Brogdon. <laughs> really? How many times we got to go through this with the Clippers? They get somebody over, oh, champions. And look what happens when the season happens. So until something, until the Clippers actually get it done, I don't want to hear anything about them being the best in the West. Paul George, I don't want to hear that. I want to hear, I want to see them actually do something. Like actually, like instead of talking, oh, Clippers, this, this, if they get it done, cool, congratulations. But it's just, it's leading to nothing. You know what I mean? Congrats, congrats to, uh, it was a good trade. I think Boston won that, that trade so far, you know? Because so far, their line, Boston has Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Chris Tassporzing is Derek White, Mark Key Smart, Al Horford, Robert Williams, and more. That that's gonna that makes sense for Boston. Chris Tassporzing is a very talented big, stretch the four, shoot the three, back to the basket. Love his game, you know. But you know, everybody's talking about Mike Brogdon is talented. Don't get me wrong; he's a he's a, a good point guard. I just feel like it's the same repetitive stuff with this Clipper team. They get somebody, media praises them. Oh, Clippers are going to be the best team in the West, and look what happens. You know what I mean? So I expect, you know, it is what it is from that trade. But uh, I want to get into another draft prospect, Derek Lovely. I like his game. He's a very, very athletic big. He can stretch the floor, facilitate. Block shots. He can also shoot too. So he worked out for the Lakers, and it was Lakers were blown away by his shooting in pre-draft workouts. You know, I like his game. He's from Duke. You know, but if the Lakers keep the 17th pick and he's there available, get him. He's a very up-and-coming big fella. We need a center. No more playing AD at center. Put him at his natural position, power forward, and let the team go off that. You know. When he plays center, that's how he gets hurt all the time. When he first came to L.A., he played power forward because we had Dwight and JaVale McGee, and he didn't get injured. You know what I mean? When we won the championship in 2020. So what I need the Lakers to do is get a big man, 
There's also big men on the free agency market. I feel like it should go get too. Robin Lopez, Brooke Lopez, you know, good veteran big man that can contribute because we some at one point I feel like Lakers are gonna get back to so West Conference Finals versus Denver and Nikola Jokic man we need somebody to guard him because AD was getting lit up by him you know and LeBron too not just AD just the whole Laker team got lit up by Denver so we need to get a big fella that can guard can guard that's why I feel like we need to get like a big big fella you know maybe like a Miles Turner or I would say Porzingis but Porzingis is a power forward too but he's going to Boston you know and and Washington's uh, blowing, um, rebuilding, so they're getting a bunch of draft assets. Kuzma probably going to resign because that could be his team. They're probably going to throw him the bag. But if he's not, put your comments in the comment section on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter, man. Would you guys want Kyle Kuzma back to the Lakers? Let me know in the comment section down below once this video is posted. Um, yeah, man, and it's just the unfortunate that that we didn't win it this year, but. Everybody's asking me, how do I think the Lakers did this year? I got on my – people been asking me on Twitter and stuff, how do I think the Lakers did this year? <clears throat> they did something that I think was possible, starting 2-10 and ten, get to the West Conference Finals. Um, it's not a failed season. It's not a failed season. It's a, a season where you can look at, look at film. Okay, what can we do to get better for <clears throat> West Conference Finals to get back to the championship, get to the finals? It's, it was not a failed season. It was – a uh, season that was improved, got better, just got ran into a Denver team. We're going to regroup, come back next season, ready to win it again, we'll go again. So it wasn't a fell season. I gave it an A-plus because we started 2-10, and 10, came back. And uh proud of the guys from Farden. I'm proud of Darvin Ham. Darvin Ham gets an A-plus for me because some coaches would have folded, would have folded, would have folded under pressure. You know, would have folded if they had a team with two and ten. They would have folded. You know what I mean? But the fact that Darvin Ham, the fact that Darvin, the the fact that Darvin Ham got this team to play. You know what I mean? Got this team to play with passion, no give up attitude, and I like that. And Darvin Ham gets. I know his rotations could be like, what are you doing at times? But also. This team played great defense of a defensive end multiple times in the playoffs. You know what I mean? We beat Golden State. We beat Memphis. The two great defensive teams, we beat them. We just ran into a Denver Nuggets team that Michael Malone just outcoached Darvin Ham in the playoffs. It's just a point fact, point proven, and it is okay. You know, I know a lot of Laker fans are going to be like, why are you giving Darvin Ham an A? It's because he deserves an A because for what he was able to do as a coach to turn around 2-10. and 10, You know what I mean? 2-10, and 10, Laker Nation. 2-10. and 10. Some some. Teams would have folded under pressure as a coach. But the fact that the Lakers came back from 2-10 and 10 with Trey and Westbrook and all this stuff going on, I thought the Lakers did a good job. Darvin Ham and LeBron and all just team together. It's not a failed season. I know Laker fans are always talking about if you don't win a championship, it's, not, it's a failed season. No, it's a season where you can look back on and say, you know what, we improved, we're good. Now we know what we, now what we need to do to get back here and win the championship. It's not a failed season. You know what I mean? It was an improved season to get better for next season. You know what I mean? So I expect Lakers to do everything in the power to get back to West Conference Finals. And I said that when we got to play Denver, before the series started, I said whoever wins the, out of the two, Denver and L.A., are going to win the championship. Denver beat us. They won the championship. So now it's our turn and the whole NBA's turn to come back and say, you know what, let's go forward again and try to win it. You know, no championship is easy. You know, we didn't win it this year. wasn't our year. Try it again next year. That's all I could really do, get better, improve, take the – things that you missed up on, you know what I mean? Look at it as a learning curve and get better for next season. That's all you can really do. So, uh, yeah, man, and I feel like if the Lakers – I'm going to put you – I'm going to tell you this now. If Lakers somehow get Trey Young for Beasley, the 17th pick, Mo Bamba, I'll do it. But I already know how Atlanta's going to say. They're going to say, give me Max Christie, Austin Reeves, Poseidon Chael, Reeves. But the caliber player like Trey Young, no, I, well, that's a tough decision to do because I'd rather have depth over a super team because super teams don't really – you have your super teams that win, like Golden State, Boston, Lakers, with Bynum, Powell, Runner Tess, Lamar Odom. That's the, that's depth slash super team. But I want Lakers to have a team where it has depth, like Denver. I want to have a team like Denver next season where if Nicole Jokic is not – like if AD ain't playing – 
Willie Rose, somebody else steps like Reeves, 29 points, or Rich Mark, 26 points. You know what I mean? If LeBron's not playing up the part, somebody else can shoot. I want a team that's all around, not just three superstars, get a bunch of veterans and go try to win. No, I want depth. But that's the thing. We never, you know, Lakers are all about superstars, super teams. So whatever happens, happens, Lake Nation. If we get a super team, let's go. Let's run it. We just got to go what the Lakers do. You know what I mean? We just got to see what happens in the draft tomorrow at 5 p.m. West Coast time. Um, I will be back after the draft to recap you guys for what breaking news regarding Laker trades, Laker free agency, and more, man. Robert Carter said Lakers do not know what they want. Lakers do not know what they don't want. Yeah, man, we'll see what happens, man. But, um. Yeah, man, that's going to do it for Big Baby Sports, man. Make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Feels good to be back, man. Um, miss all you guys. Hope all is well with you and everybody, man. You guys have a good one. Peace out, Laker Nation. Baby, baby.